Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today I'm filming another video in my declutter series. This is all of my bullet lipsticks in my collection. I feel like it's gonna be a little chaotic. I have both cats here insisting on being near me. Scott's home. I usually don't film these videos when he's home. So he's by default a noisy person. The only person not here is Phoebe. She's at my parents' house. So it might be a little crazy, but I don't really know what I'm looking to get out of this specific declutter. Oh, there's a cat. I've never seen that cat before. Okay, distractions. I don't know what I'm trying to get out of this declutter. I definitely don't want to keep stuff that's expired. I know that much. Now, I'm okay having a couple like darker colors or red colors in this category, maybe something a little different. Like it doesn't really bother me, especially because lipsticks in general, they don't take up a lot of space. But if something is like a formula I really hate, I want to get rid of that. If something seems expired, I want to get rid of that. But I don't have the same like urge I've had with other categories to like completely purge everything. So we'll see where this journey takes us. So if you guys are interested in seeing my lipstick collection and the declutter that comes along with it, then keep on watching. Let's go. So here you have it. I'm going to be swatching, smelling, all the stuff with everything here with no goal or anything in mind. So let's just start with the first one. The first one here is from Becca. And this, I'm pretty sure I got in a boxy charm. The shade is called Taupe. I mean, it still smells good. That's like a really pretty color. I'm not really tempted to declutter things from Becca unless they're things I absolutely hate. And I think that's such a pretty color lipstick. And like I said, I don't have the desire to declutter this whole collection. Like a lot of these are small products. They don't take up room. I don't buy lipsticks a lot. So I'd rather just keep what I have and not have to like buy stuff. This next one here is from Buxom and this is their bold gel lipstick in the shade Pink Coquette. Pretty sure I got this at um, a TJ Maxx, but this is like a perfect example. Like I talked about in my last video, I don't really wear pink very much. So I feel like these type of shades are what I'm looking to get rid of like pinks. I don't enjoy wearing pink. This is a free sample from Janie Urdell. This is their Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain. I don't even think it says a shade on it. I remember not loving this though. I feel like it's one of those like pH kind of things where it like kind of just turns pink. So that's something I can declutter. This, I think I bought this on Yes Style. This is from I Mimi. Me. It's the Tick Tock Lip Tint in the shade Cashmere. And now let's see how that looks. It's like a clicky uppy thing. And it's kind of got like a, that like velvet lip kind of vibe to it. So I think I will keep that even though it's pink, I think it, oh God, the cats. It has like a lip stain kind of effect that I am interested in keeping. This is from ColourPop and all my liquid lips from ColourPop works better. This is the shade Cookie and this is their matte lip, lippy stick formula. I mean, that still looks fine and it smells fine. Maybe the lippy sticks are better like longevity wise because I will be keeping cookies. This is the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Bare It All. This was definitely one of my, like a very worn shade by me in the past. I don't know how I feel about the formula. I don't, I don't think I wanna keep this one. I'm just, I'm okay with getting rid of it. Some formulas I just like better than others. I really do like these CoverGirl. This is the shade Sultry Sienna in their cream formula. And yeah, I like just like the way that feels better. The, Wet n Wild was very like matte and tuggy and this one just went on really creamy and that's what I prefer. This is from Too Faced. This is their gingerbread lipstick. I did, it smells good. So I did declare the gingerbread bronzer, but I think I might keep this lipstick. I don't really have this like reddish brown color. So I'm okay keeping it. It's really cute. It's not gonna kill me if I keep it. This is from Cargo Cosmetics. This shade is called Bombay. I don't really remember anything about this. This must've been something I got for free. Mm, I don't, I don't love it. I'm just gonna declutter. This next one is from Bite Beauty. It's an old formula and I feel like Bite Beauty is known for their products going bad quickly. This is the Buttercream Lipstick in Pecan. I don't know, I think this smells like it went bad. It's such a pretty color, but it has that like lipstick scent, which makes me think it's not good anymore. That's unfortunate, especially because Bite Beauty's out of business, but it's a pretty color. Next is from Marc Jacobs, and this is their new nudes lipstick in the shade Eat Cake. I love the Marc Jacobs lipsticks. I got them at TJ Maxx, and they're such a comfy formula. Definitely keeping. 
This is another ColourPop lippy stick. This is a cream in the shade Bound. Oh my God, it's like twisted the wrong way in here. And it's like bubblegum pink. I'm going to declare that. I don't know what happened there. This is a NARS Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Do Me Baby. Who names their stuff? That's a really, really pretty shade. I'm gonna keep that. This is a favorite, I think from 2020, the e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Persimmon. I love this like orangey shade. I've been trying to find a reason to make a eye, like a makeup look go around this specific lipstick. But I'm trying to hold off till fall. Here's my other Marc Jacobs new nude in the shade Role Play. Again, I also got this one in TJ Maxx. It's so pretty. This is NARS Velvet Matte Lips in the shade Bahama. Like that's a normal, that's a more normal name. Ooh, you know what? Those are very similar. I think I might keep Bahama and get rid of the Do Me Baby because they're so similar and they're like the same exact formula. So I think I'm gonna get, keep this one and get rid of that one. This, I'm not even swatching because there's nothing to swatch. This is the Urban Decay Ultimate Own Zone Multi-Purpose Primer Pencil. I think I got this for free or something. I don't see the, the use for it or the need for it. I'm gonna do it there. This is the Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon in the shade can't even. I don't remember how I feel about this. I didn't, eh, I'm okay getting rid of that. I feel like I didn't like this formula. I love these Almay lipsticks. This is the shade Go Wild, but you know what? I really don't wear shades this light anymore. I used to love this formula, but I just don't like the, sh the light shades anymore. I think I'm gonna declutter this. This is a La Ritzy, uh lipstick in the shade Malt forget this came in a subscription box but i'm not like emotionally attached to this i think i'm just gonna declutter that this is a wet and wild perfect pout lip color in the shade bear your soul i wonder if i like this formula better mm. formula feels creamier but also i don't think i'm gonna wear this formula it feels too heavy i don't really like a heavy feeling here is another one of those Almay lipsticks. This shade is called Skip the Gym. Now I feel like I remember this one being very shimmery. Yeah, this was like metallic. I think I'm gonna declutter this one. This is the Essence Instacare lipstick in the shade Daily Maybe. I remember this being a favorite. Let me see how this shade looks though. Ooh, you know, for a lipstick, it's got kind of like a glossy shine. That's pretty. I'm definitely keeping that. This is Vasanti Matte Crush Lip Pencil in the shade It's Your Mauve. Oh God, too purple for me. This next one is from Ulta Beauty and it's a free sample of their lipstick formula. It smells really bad. I'm gonna have to declutter it. It's pretty color though, but it does not smell good. I have the Colleen and Miranda Sings lipsticks from when she came out with them. This one is called Lazy Daisy. I don't need to keep these packages anywhere. I don't know why I have them, but I'd like to see how I feel about the colors in general because I never really wore them. Like, I don't really, that's like a little bit more purple pink than I like. So I think I'm just gonna declutter this one and recycle the box finally. This is Lipstick Queen Morning Sunshine. I don't really like Lipstick Queen. They're like that, like, it's again, that like PH gimmicky thing. Like this might be silly to keep for Phoebe to play with because it's like clear and then it turns pink, but I don't understand the point. This is Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Kiss. I feel like I remember liking this. Yeah, this is a really nice like creamy formula. I'm gonna keep that. This is a ColourPop Velvet Blur in the shade K-Pop. This is probably really similar to the shade of the um, Elf, but actually this one's more of like a strawberry red orange. And the other one I feel like is more orange orange. Still smells fine, so I'm keeping it. This is a ColourPop lippy stick in the creme in the shade Aquarius. I literally got it because I'm an Aquarius. It doesn't look good, like that's seen better days. Also, I feel like I got it because it was Aquarius, but I never really loved the shade. This is another lipstick queen in the shade Medieval. Again, it's like, I think it's like that pH where it like goes on clear and then it turns a color. I'm not keeping it. This is a Giorgio Armani Rouge something shades 102 it's definitely a free sample i got from sephora i'll probably keep that next here from maybelline i have their super stay ink crayon in the shade lead the way i remember not loving the color i think i'm just going to declutter that this is the ulta beauty lip crayon in the shade festival i don't know i don't really see myself using it this is a favorite, Fenty Beauty Retro Rose Lip Shine. I really like this formula. I will definitely be keeping it. It's like a glossy, yummy stick. 
This is another ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Parker. This is one of their matte formula. It's a pretty color. I think I'll keep that. This is the NYX Filler Instinct in the shade Beach Casual. I feel like I remember not loving this. Yeah, I don't love the color. I'm gonna declutter. This is the Stow Away Burnt Rose Lipstick. It's, I don't really love the pinkiness of it. This is the LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick in the shade Snuggle. Oh, it's upside down. It has that same kind of feeling as the Wet n Wild where it's like tugging. I don't really want that. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint in the shade Gimme S'more. I hate the grapefruit scent of this, so I'm decluttering. This is the NARS Velvet Matte in the shade Intriguing. Nah, I don't really like the shade. <laughs> This is another Alme in the shade Live Happy. Let's see how that one looks. That's a fun shade. I feel like for summer, I'll keep that one. This is the Sephora collection in the shade, I don't know what the shade is. Oh, Labyrinth City. Oh, that's, nah, I don't wear that shade. I'll declutter. This is a Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense in the shade Matte One. This one smells expired. Uh, it doesn't feel good going on my hand either. So I'm gonna put that into clutter. I am officially at overheating, so I will return once we have my camera break. And we're back. Don't worry, I did some Halloween decorating while I waited. This next one is from MAC, and this is their Mineralized Rich formula in the shade Glam Era. It's a pretty formula, but it doesn't have that MAC lipstick scent which makes me feel like it's gone bad. So I'm going to have to declutter that. This is from Nude Sticks and this is their gel color in the shade J Mama. I remember really liking this formula, but I don't really wear shades so light anymore. So I'm gonna declutter that one. This is the infamous Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Truly smaller than my pinky. So I will keep this one. It's my only Charlotte Tilbury lip product and I don't wanna get rid of it. This is another Bite Beauty lip product. This is their Matte Creme Lip Crayon in the shade Glace. I, first of all, like I said, Bite Beauty, their lip products don't really last long because of the ingredients they use. And I never really liked this shade anyway, so it's probably expired and needs to go anyway. Okay, I have two of the Makeup Revolution Friends collabs because when I was pregnant, I got so excited that they made lipsticks that said Rachel and Phoebe, but like no one knew my baby's name was gonna be Phoebe, so I couldn't like talk about it on my channel. So I'm going to quote unquote declutter these from my collection, but I kind of originally got them for display pieces, never really to wear because I didn't like the shades because like this is the Rachel shade and like <laughs> it's literally purple, which I don't understand. Rachel didn't wear purple on the show. So I am going to find a way to like display these together because that's why they're special to me. My cats just love lipstick. So unofficial declutter. This might be some of the oldest lip products in my collection. These are the, I have two of these, the Tarte Lip Sculptor. They're a lipstick and a gloss, but they're definitely gonna have to go because I may have had these longer than I've been on YouTube, which is five years, so that's going. This is a Buxom Bold Gelled Lipstick in White Russian. It's very white Russian color, which especially in a lipstick formula just does not look flattering on me. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color in the shade Naughty and Spice. Feel it? Mm. I don't think I would wear it. I'm gonna declutter. This is the Christopher Buckle Lipstick in the shade Bardo. I feel like I got this in a poxy charm. I don't know. I probably have used this once. I'm just gonna declutter it. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Cherry. It's a nice formula, but I don't really wear these shade, this like peach shade. So I think I'm just going to declutter that. This is that other uh, Tarte product that I said is older than my channel. I'm going to have to declutter that. This I got from Influencer, the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist in the shade Sassy Rhubarb. I did not like the formula or the color of this. So I'm going to declutter. This is the CoverGirl Streaker Demi Matte Lipstick. Yeah, I, I can smell that this one has gone bad, which is sad. This was a favorite for a while, but again, I don't really wear shades so late anymore, but this used to be a favorite. Here is the Phoebe shade that I was referring to earlier. And again, I don't wear fuchsia lipstick. I don't even know if I've ever put this on. I doubt I've ever put this on. I literally just got it because it had her name on it, so. Unofficial declutter. 
This is the ColourPop lipstick in the shade Chi Chi. This is the matte formula. That's actually like a really nice red. I might keep that. Another red I have is the Miranda Sings lipstick. This goes with the uh, Colleen lipstick that I decluttered earlier, but it actually looks like Miranda Sings. I've only used this a handful of times. <sighs> I don't really, I honestly do not have a lipstick this kind of red. So I think I'm going to keep it just for that purpose because otherwise if I ever wanted a red, I would have to go buy one. This is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Sin. It's got more of that like purple pink, so I'm gonna declutter. This is another favorite, the e.l.f. I forget what these, oh, Sheer Slick in the shade Orange Crush. This is a good formula, I really like this one. It's like sheer, so it looks juicy on the lips. This is the Urban Decay, I think this is like a creme lips, cream lipstick in the shade Naked. I think this is the old formula. It's very pink, I'm gonna declutter. This from Rare Beauty, I got in an Ipsy bag. It's called a lip balm, but dewy lip balm this shade is thankful but to me this is not a lip balm like that's a lipstick right the shade is not great on me so i'm gonna declutter this i mean it's brand new basically i've only used it once so hopefully someone can get good use out of that this is a shade i tried to pan for so long matte velvet oh my goodness these cats matte velvet teddy that's all that's left of my matte velvet teddy i actually wore this the other day i love this it's probably one of my favorite like bullet just like traditional bullet lipsticks. This is the newest lipstick in my collection, I would say. My mom got me this for Christmas. This is Max You're So Vain. And I don't really have a shade like that. So if I'm gonna keep one pink, I'd rather it be the newest pink in my collection. And also it was a Christmas gift from my mom and it's literally brand new. This is the ColourPop lipstick that they did in the Disney Villains collection. It's got vacuuming. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it, but this is the shade Hades. I'm gonna keep it. I really like the, this um, lipstick and especially this packaging is so cool. This is a ColourPop cream in the shade Spring Roll. It's kind of similar, but it's got like a little bit more pink to it. So I'm gonna keep that. This is the Sephora. I have no idea what it's called because they didn't put the name on it or anything. Like you can't even read it, but it, it's kind of like the Fenty one that's like glossy. It's so pretty. I really, really like this formula. This is another bite in the shade pepper it's the muse of uh, muse bouche but this is like i can tell it's off this is like before they like did their rebrand <laughs> this is so old this has got to go this is from wander beauty and this is their lip setter and it's like a dual ended product this oh right i forgot it broke it doesn't work my goodness the shade is mauve it's like a dual ended product but like to me that is not mauve i don't know it's broken though, so it needs to go. Last product here might be one of the oldest ones here. This is the Katie Cat Matte Lipstick that CoverGirl did with Katy Perry. Yeah, that does not smell the way it should, but I used to wear this shade all the time, so there you have it. I am now going to total up the keeps versus the declutters. Oh my God, the shadow I didn't realize was leaving us a shadow of the everything happening in the background, and I'll let you know how much I kept versus decluttered. So even with trying to not declutter a ton. It still just naturally happened through this process. So I'm keeping 25 and decluttering 47. So that's two thirds of my collection without even like pulling hairs and stuff. So that's pretty awesome. That means I'm really happy with everything I have here. This is really exciting. I'm glad to be doing this series. Like I say, every single video, the next video will be lip glosses. That one will be ridiculously hard. That might be like the same level of hard as blushes. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below. Give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.